The Bull Guard presents itself as a slow and clumsy enemy, intended to train you in the art of dodging. Its pole arm attacks are easily anticipated, allowing you to practice your dodging with confidence. When you reach the midpoint of the encounter, a cutscene will trigger, unlocking the immobilized spell. This new tool will further simplify the battle, making it a breeze to overcome. <laughs> It's been a while, but the immobilized spell still works like a charm. <laughs> Since you hail from Mount Huaguo, it won't hurt to teach you a handy trick. Now, here we go. Give me your hand. There you go. Should you come across any miscreants, just point your finger at them and release this spell. You'll be able to hold them in place while giving yourself a breather. Sadly, mine is but a humble trick. Its power will wear off within a few short moments. Though it's good enough against boneheads like this one. Anyway. Just consider it an ace up your sleeve. No! The young boys these days know no manners! Fear not! Teach them a lesson with your new spell! Guangxi wields a scorching double-edged sword, enabling him to deliver rapid-fire combos and ranged throws. He's a challenging adversary to pin down, so don't hesitate to cast your immobilized spell to hold him in place and inflict damage. Luckily, he doesn't boast a massive health pool, so an aggressive tactic will serve you well. Defeating Guangxi will unlock the mighty Red Tide spell, allowing you to take on his form for a brief period. Mm, another monkey, I see. Why don't you lay down your weapon and join me in goodness mercy? What say you?
destined one. Heads up! This boss is surprisingly difficult for those just starting their journey, and you may find yourself attempting to defeat him multiple times. If you're feeling overwhelmed, it's perfectly fine to dash past the white on your initial meeting and return later when you've leveled up. However, be aware that the wandering white will disappear once you take down the elder Jinchi boss. So ensure you tackle the white before heading into that secret zone with the elder Jinchi. <laughs> When you near the battle, your companion the Keeper will tell you that you stand no chance against this formidable boss. But fear not, he's greatly underestimating what you can do. Ling Suzi mainly uses two attacks to keep an eye on, a fast two-part swipe combo and a charging bite. Once you master these moves, the battle turns out to be quite straightforward, especially with the advantages of Immobilize and Red Tides on your side.
Ba Li Guhlang may not be the most formidable Yao Guai chief you faced, but he can be quite a nuisance. Be especially cautious of his backward kick attack. It can catch you off guard. Additionally, his tongue attack moves back and forth repeatedly, requiring you to dodge multiple times to stay safe. Once you get the hang of it, defeating Ba Li Guhlang is just a matter of chipping away at his low health until he falls. Guangmu is a spellcaster who employs an array of ranged assaults, area effect shockwaves, and toxic sprays to chip away at your health. To counter this, I suggest you focus on dodging skillfully and closing the gap whenever you can. Doing so will significantly reduce the threat he poses. Mortals do aspire. Craving immortality, Yao Guai's surely will conspire! <laughs> This serpent-like noble will put your determination to the test, and he possesses the skills to make it a challenge. So don't underestimate this boss. Interestingly, despite his serpentine form, he doesn't use poison in his attacks. Instead, he wields a powerful spear and can channel the essence of water to extend its reach. He frequently unleashes waves of watery force that you'll need to dodge to avoid significant damage. He's also known to throw his spear at you, only to summon it back to his hand. The key to victory is straightforward. Avoid his strikes while building up your own, but be cautious not to deplete your stamina. However, this isn't as easy as it sounds, as he moves quickly, requiring you to memorize his attack patterns and minimize the damage you take. Utilizing the well-timed pillar stance can also prove to be quite advantageous. Pray tell, to what end do you seek? Yeah! <laughs> 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 
A ripple awaits, not without us. Now you shall face what I truly am! I'm merely my brother's eyes and ears. I feign my loyalty to guard this path on the bear's order. Your destiny's bleak and stark. In its grip, we share the mark. The Guanyin Temple now lies in cinders, yet the Elder Soul endures. The root of greed ever fosters the stem of suffering. <sighs> Better to forget the thing you truly seek. The Elder Jinchi Yaoguai King resides in a secret area of Chapter 1 and bears a striking resemblance to the wandering white you faced in the Forest of Wolves, both in appearance and behavior. However, this time, the arena is teeming with small, shambling corpses. While you can usually focus on battling Elder Jinchi, there will be moments when he ascends into the air and summons the corpses. It's crucial to eliminate these undead foes before they reach him, as each one that makes it to the center will restore Elder Jinchi's health, dragging out the encounter. It cannot be you. You are back? It must be you who took that Kasaya. Now give it back!
270 years spent. <laughs> Kasaya's collected by the hundreds. Still one short without his. No. No, stop, stop, stop. Go on, go on. That's right. Leave it. Just leave it. Stop the fire. I have to admit, the Black Wind King is by far the most formidable foe I've faced in the game so far. He can easily escape your immobilize spell, his attack sequences are frustratingly long, and he possesses a unique ability that allows him to transform into an invulnerable whirlwind, charging at you repeatedly. This requires precise timing to dodge effectively. If you haven't already, I highly recommend going back to defeat Guangzi and the Wandering White. Their abilities can be incredibly beneficial for taking down the Black Wind King before he can inflict too much damage on your health. Scope. All those monks consumed by the fire turn to wandering ghosts roaming in Black Wind Mountain. It was I who granted them eternal repose. I have even restored the charred scriptures, piece by piece. <laughs> but oh yes, I always knew. One day you shall return. Why so eager to die? <laughs> Some cheap tricks! Meet me at the summit if you dare! This battle is quite challenging, so I strongly suggest that you first unlock the secret area in Chapter 1 and take down Elder Jinchi before facing the Black Bear Guai. The reward for defeating Elder Jinchi is an item that proves to be extremely effective against the fire-based attacks of the Black Bear. The most perilous part of this encounter occurs when the Black Bear transforms into a whirlwind of flames and charges at you repeatedly. These fiery assaults can inflict significant damage, so you'll need to time your dodges perfectly. Keep an eye out for the rush of air just before it charges. That's your cue to evade. With some practice, you'll conquer the Black Bear and successfully complete Chapter 1. Oh! <laughs> 
fight for today! Fortune is no longer on your side! No one will come to your aid. All I need is to take it elsewhere and rebuild everything anew! <laughs> The Celestial Court, if given a choice, who dared to challenge the mighty wrecker of the Celestial Palace? His words ring true. No matter how daring he was, he had not the nerve to harm the great sage. There must be someone else pulling all the strings. Exactly, and this thing is eerie. I have no idea how to make use of its power. Except to enshrine it up there, tricking lesser Yaoguais into offerings. If you pardon me, I'll go back to Guanyin to atone for my actions and be put back on the engaging band. You will never see me out there anymore. Oh, you know his nonsense. Go now, little monkey. Go and retrieve the great sage's relic. The most elusive boss in Chapter 1 is undoubtedly the Red Lung. This formidable Yao Guai King can only be confronted after you acquire a specific item in Chapter 2. Once you have it, you'll need to head back to Chapter 1 for the showdown. Be warned, minor spoilers for Chapter 2 are ahead, so if you wish to avoid them, now's your chance to look away or skip straight to the battle. To initiate the secret encounter with the Red Lung, you must first collect the Lung Scale. After securing this item, make your way to the waterfall located in the outside the forest section of the Forest of Wolves. Although classified as a Chapter 1 boss, the lightning-charged Red Lung exhibits power levels more akin to Chapter 2. To emerge victorious, focus on the vessels on its back when it falters. Inflicting enough damage to these vessels will trigger a massive explosion, significantly damaging the beast and making the fight much shorter. What do you must the red one into the woods tree. Smoke rising high from wood of fire. Hit the back. Let the blast respire. As in the thunders conspire. <laughs> 